is the exhaust valve seat so before uh, starting overhauling we have to remove the o-ring and uh, we have to take out the seal ring so both uh, should be removed from place and most importantly what you have to keep it in mind when you are removing both o-rings and the seal rings is that the spanner uh, sorry is the screwdriver which you are using should not damage the groove edges so accordingly select the size of your screwdriver so that is the main thing that you have to keep it in mind while removing the o-ring and seal ring of exhaust valve seat So after removing both the o-ring and seal ring then what you need to do is you have to remove the carbon which is deposited over the seat so use proper ppe while using the buffing machine and after cleaning this now it is completely cleaned and ready for refit so before refitting the exhaust valve seat you have to examine the valve seat condition and you have to calibrate the valve seat so there are certain readings that you need to take you have to measure and confirm the valve is the valve can be reused so for that what you need to do is you have to take the take a copy of uh, uh, manual exhaust valve seat measurement page so that will be acts like instant reference and these are all the reading that you need to take that is for the D0811 that is your uh, bottom piece maximum grinding value so that grinding value you don't need to keep it in mind because nowadays uh, all valve seat cannot be grinded on board so they have to be given directly to sure for reconditioning the next is D08-12 that is gap of bottom piece seat so you have to measure the gap of bottom piece seat and uh, that value you have to write it and keep then this is g08 minus 11 which is again uh, what i said earlier it's a bottom piece seat maximum grinding value so uh, then what we need to do is we have to uh, take our uh, calibrating tool and you have to get ready to do the calibration and uh, okay so again first we are going to take uh, the measurement of uh, D12 that is D08 minus 12 which is the gap of bottom seat okay so this is a tool which I am going to use and I uh, will show you how to take the measurement and you can see the tool should be always kept straight and you have to take the feeler gauge and insert uh, the feeler gauge between the seat and the tool so that whichever feeler gauge is uh, fixing whichever feeler gauge is uh, which are gauge is properly going freely and it not be very free and this is how you have to take the measurement So again uh, I will take the reading one more time because we have to take the reading on all the four side of the seat so that uh, we can measure it properly. Properly in the sense we, we can have a fair idea that seat is evenly got worn out. So again the same way gap between the feeler gauge and gap between the seat and the tool. So this is what this is how you need to take the measurement. Mm, just uh, very simple you can see uh, it is around uh, 90 something so again the same way you have to take for the other sides also other three sides so after completion uh, so after completion of uh, exhaust valve seat then we go to exhaust valve spindle 
so you again take the manual and take uh, reference of what are all the measurement you have need to take and what is the maximum value of the measurement that uh, you are going to take all the thing you have to understand first and you have to start uh, calibrating the exhaust valve so here what we need to do is you have to check the uh, what do you call uh, spindle stem measuring area will be there both the uh, maximum and minimum reading will be given and what will be the spindle diameter that is 15 16 and 17 so these three readings you have to take so first uh, you have to identify which is the spindle measuring area first so you can see a little uh, gap and a little gap you can identify the difference by seeing only so that will be the area which you need to take the Mm, spindle stem diameter so use a uh, vernier calipers or even you can use your outer uh, outer caliper and take the measurement so accordingly to this measurement that we took the outside side measurement uh, you need to have a maximum of 59 point um, 59.8 so you take the uh, values and uh, write it in the measurement table and the next thing is you need to take the height height of the spindle so again uh, you use a scale and use a proper scale and measure the height and you will get the height and again you compare the value maximum value which you need to have and if your value is okay with the makers recommended uh, value then you can go ahead with using this va valve spindle and most of the time you can uh, identify the valve spindle condition by its appearance only so take the measurement so now i am taking the measurement and uh, most of the time uh, as i said you can see by visual inspection only so then you can say this is the d15 which you call it as uh, uh, spindle stem measuring area minimum so again measure it and uh, keep it and again take the next me measurement confirm with the value which you are getting okay so okay then uh, then you take the measurement of d16 and d16 is the spindle stem measuring area maximum so these two reading you take and uh, you write it in the column so we took two measurement now one is 15 one is 16 and one is 17 next we go to exhaust valve spindle bottom side okay so this is uh, another measurement that you need to take eight, uh, 13 maximum bone of value and uh, maximum grinding and uh, okay we will go for that for that again you have to use proper tool for taking the measurement so uh, you can see the bottom side of the spindle if this is the condition it is perfectly all right if it is burnt off you can see a little uh, uh, depth in the bottom of the spindle so this is the tool that we need to use for taking measurement of the Mm, spindle and now we are going to take the spindle maximum bone of limit so here in this tool only you will find the scale and uh, with the scale only you can take the measurement this is the scale which I am talking about and uh, you have to take measurement in three different position so I will little zoom it up you can see the scale value so it is written as something like three